Huntress! You're back! Good call. Did you find those shell walkers, Aloy? So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the Bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. <laughs> Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused. All My dear of magistrate, it. has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ovent. All for a few extra shards and you almost drowned your other miners and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees <laughs> i i demand an official investigation i won't be the victim of some carja scheme certainly we'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything the bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... that's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? Oh, 
Well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh! Don't want you, don't need you! Down with all them! <laughs> <laughs> Me. Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, you got it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Be better off with Petra in charge. Fortune favors the boldly forge. Fight well and return. off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, 
and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm. and move it forward. Try the machine on your right first. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Move that machine forward. It's all part of the learning process. Gotta move that machine forward. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Gotta rotate that machine if you wanna attack my piece. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece.
You've already attacked a machine. Let's keep this game going. Overcharge your machine. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Come back anytime, Red. Didn't expect to see you up and about. Well. <laughs> You might have beaten Missy! Attacks are fast, but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. Attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. Yeah! Oh. Me again. seems to energize after attacks. I think landing heavy attacks or combinations will energize it fast. That energy. Try attacking your enemy. See if you can energize them. 
The savior of Meridian wins! Attacks are child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. This is the aerial slash. Bring your blade down from the air onto your enemy. Deadly and a great way to set up follow-up attacks. Wow. Now remember, a jump off can not only give you distance from your opponent, it can also set up an aerial shot. Savior of Meridian wins! See you later, Odurg. Farewell, then. Yes! Yeah. 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 
You did it! I should go. I'll be here. Huntress, you're back. I'm gonna get a strong color on this. I can use shock ammo.
Made it. To knock the rebels. They're trying to corner those Osiris. inside. <laughs> Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. This crate might be useful. Crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's not much I can do. I better move on for now. I might trade for something good.
could break off its tail, stop one of its attacks. Doesn't smell any better than it looks.
override it, I can get data on the surrounding area.
power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. At some point, it's dead now. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Let's see what this thing does. Be able to get to that tunnel now. Just gotta find the right spot. Looks like I might need to climb onto the tunnel. Just gotta time it. Right. Oh! This might be too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way.
spot it. Gotta move. some news for you. I heard there's a cauldron southwest of here, and I thought about taking a peek. But with these old legs, if any machines stumbled out, I'd be a goner. You'd better stay away, then. A cauldron to the southwest. It probably has machine overrides I could use. not hurt after such a leap here. Turn back, Outlander. Stone's Echo is for Utaru only. Forgive my Guess I'm not getting in there. We're not used to your kind. A brighter day, stranger. And the land gods in turn. And have all turned against us. Your appearance will have a lot of people talking. Turn back, Outlander. Stone's echo is for Itaru time. only. Not many will open their arms. Getting in there. Turn back, Outlander. Stone's echo is for Itaru only. Guess I'm not getting in there. Look around you. The red rock closes in on us. The Utaru are in decline. My fall. Pretty sure that's the passage Laren's contract mentioned. Shellwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. Convoy. It's here.
for me. Huntress, you're back. I took down that shell walker for you. Vonda, Rendor, we got a pickup. Per our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But? Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better if you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? What else do you need? Alarmin, we picked out a I'll Best of luck. Tell me more. I was cruise by. I Fantastic. I I'll be waiting for that. I know I can make the perfect armor. I just need the right parts.